Scotland, it's a janitor here with the uh, occasional ramble that I tend to do in fighting games. Uh, quite a lot's been going on, so you know, probably some stuff to talk, up, talk about. Uh, Friday this week, of course, we had uh, Soul Calibur 5 drop in on us, and after playing it the past couple of days, I'm really digging it. I know there was quite a bit of hype for it over at one level up, and they had their day minus one tournament because some people are lucky enough to, you know, order from the right places. Shop to the net. And got the game, you know, relatively early to play it. I know some of the guys in Dundee were really hyped for it. And myself, really, really enjoy playing that game, man. It brings back all of the fun I had playing what, uh, 2 and 3 back a couple of years ago when I played 2 and 3 in the common room at school and all that sort of stuff. It was really, really fun, actually. It's a really good game. It's a different paced sort of game than, say, you know, Street Fighter or something like that. But it's different. It's, it's something that I hope gets picked up on continues on but you know I say this about every game that gets released that really we should be trying to find a place for it in our scene you know mainly because it up the number of players and hopefully that so far calibre comes up with its not so high execution barrier it's more of a thought based game a more strategical based game more movement and just looking at what's happening on the screen and where you are and what you're doing it, it could be a it could be a solid game to get on the scene and hopefully bring more people into the game I don't want to say it's an easy game because it's not it's an experience based game. You kind of play the game and you learn how your opponent moves and what your opponent moves look like, recognise them and see where you're going. You just have to recognise the strings and stuff and react accordingly and uh, that, that doesn't sound too exciting but when it's put in practice and people you know stop strings early, go for four attempts and stuff like that, the more sort of traditional fighting game mix ups come through and really really can you know, make that make it fun. I mean, we could on su Saturday back there we had the uh, Soul Calibur Five launch event on D Dundee. Uh, shout out to all the guys that came along. It was great seeing you all. They were great playing the game with you. Uh, we also had an AE side tournament there. Uh, congrats to Mutron for winning that. Uh, Brand started getting second place. Uh, solid, solid. It was only eight of us that played in the AE tournament, but you know, it was a it was an East Coast sort of Masters tournament. With, you know, missing out at Wazaru and all those guys who could actually destroy me. But apart from that, looking, at, looking away from that, yeah, it was a good match. Also, the Soul Calibur 5 tournament was was really, really hype with uh, Tom taking it with his maxi, uh, Brandstar taking the second, second place of the day, uh, doing really well there. And Mio mixed with his Natsu. Uh, Branny, of course, was playing uh, Astaroth. Then uh, Falkirk's own Belvedere uh, took fourth place with Nightmare. And Falcon's on Janitor took fifth place. And if you know how double elimination works, you, you kind of know what happened. Yeah, kind of stay salty. And that it was, uh, I don't know, I was really salty after he beat me, but that's how me and Gab get. But, you know, it looked more, it was more of a case of, you know, old gimmicks versus new tricks. Like I was going for old gimmicks, he was throwing out Nightmare's new counter, Critical Edge. Oh, it was. Oof, well that's a beastly count of critical edge, but anyway, shouts to you all that came to that event, seriously, that was, was great to see the, the turnout that we all had at the Craig Tea Hotel in Dundee, seriously, uh, got a bit of practice on commentating on our pseudo stream setup that we may get some of the recordings out, we may not, we'll see what we can do for these to show you some of the matches that happened there, but if not, eh, got some practice in for right spot on. Uh, other news of the weekend was uh, Yorkshire Carnage down in Bradford, three, three, Young Lions from Scotland went down and they showed their metal man. I mean, big fool, A getting second place man. <laughs> Hell of a result man, you done freaking epic what you do that. It was really, really great to hear when I found out we were all totally psyched for you when we heard you done that. Uh, Ken also making out of pools in AE. Uh, no one's really got back to me on how you did in Tekken, but uh, Marvel, Marvel didn't go too smoothly, but you know, Marvel's a random game, shit happens in Marvel. And, Hustle Crow man making that 300 quid in money matches, apparently. But if not, man, I hope you guys went down there. I hope you guys had a lot, a lot of fun, man. And definitely, definitely spread the word of uh, Versus Scotland up there. Hopefully, get some people up type spotting. But you know what? You guys, man, you've done us proud down there, man. You've represented yourself as well. And I hope you are home now. I know you've had a bit of trouble stuck in Bradford and stuff. That certainly sucks. But what are you going to do about that? Uh, what else is on? Because 26th of February as well, there's the uh, Shadowloo Showdown uh, tournament in London. The X-Dragon Project are putting that on. Uh, basically, basically there's going to be a qualifier for the big Australian tournament. Uh, you know, AE, Marvel, probably some other games as well. I think they've got a build of Street Fighter Cross Tekken is going to be there as well. But Shadowloo Showdown is one of the 
one of the big majors of the year. It's down in Australia. Um, basically, you get Evo qualifying points as well. So if you want to go to the grand stage in America, you can you can go there. But man, if anybody can make it down there, it'd be great. You know, to see see some of our guys place and maybe even have the chance to go to Australia. That would be mighty mighty sick. But uh, no, that's it. That's it. Uh, other tournaments I can think of. Of course, road type spotting right now going on as I talk. The road type spot in Hamilton tournament for uh, E and. Uh, Marvel vs Capcom 3 Shout out to Cryptic and his girlfriend Seriously it was absolutely sick of you guys to, After after the whole thing, Stuff that's happened with the, the previous boys that they ran the Hamilton ran back it's Sick of you guys to open up your doors And let the tournament happen there I hope you are all having a good one there And uh, once again thanks very much Because you know People getting them ranking points and getting the tournament And the prize money's allocated like, You know Seriously like bottom of my heart I'm thanking you That's that's honestly great, great stuff you are doing. Uh, what else can we talk about? Hmm. Uh, I did throw up on the uh, on the Facebooks. If you've not got me on Facebook, sorry. But I did throw up in the Versus Scott on Facebooks as well. Uh, we've got a bit of a Q and A going on, so let's get that started. So anyway, first, what uh, font? Kieran Alan Dundee boy asks. Do you think people will still be playing Soul Calibur Five in six months? See. I don't think that's really the question they ask right now day two. I think, do you want people to be playing it in six months? I don't want people to be playing it in six months. But a lot of you out there want people to be playing it in six months. It's a really fun game. It was getting a lot of hype at the tournament, in fact. We thought people were going to, you know, play Soul Calibur, and then when AE came out, they just stick with Aldi. That didn't happen. As soon as AE was done, everybody went back to Soul Calibur. All the setups, all AE went off, and we got we got Soul Calibur on the go for the rest of the day. Uh, it definitely looks like a strong contender for one of one of the bigger games in the scene. I really hope it is, you know, because it's a sick game and you should all get in it. If you've not played it yet, find someone like, I don't know, open up your house, call me around, I'll bring it. We'll, we'll play it. We'll, we'll do some more versus Scotland with it, man. We'll, we'll get some guys playing. Uh, we'll get some videos going and stuff. But, man, seriously, get get down there. Get just get, get me involved. You know, get involved in Soul Calibur 5. See see what you think of it, man. I mean, as I said, they were about the guys at my level, but it was sweet of them to bring the game to show off. And I know Saber Dog now, is uh, bringing up the bringing up the whole you know tournament there that's going on. He's got a tournament going on at uh, one level up on the other weeks. At King Shaders isn't going on. Uh, sick man, sick for you putting that up as well, man. Seriously, there's a lot of love to see. And that question comes up a bit later, but see, I think it's uh, I think it's maybe oh, I can't remember who it is, but when he's asked, I'll get to it and I'll show you when I'm doing. I know one of the questions coming up is, would you think you do it pull together? Stuff like this, like you know. Come into the going to the events, supporting each other, man. Guys putting on putting on little side tournaments. People opening up their homes for casual sessions and stuff. People opening up their homes for tournaments. That's that's crazy, but people are doing it, man. That's 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 the one thing that definitely definitely helps the Scottish scene grow. And I hope that you know we're all getting on with each other and we're all you know happy and stuff and happy to help each other out and shit like that. But you know I think that's one thing to help us grow. But should we wait so carbon in six months? I hope we are. Uh, Simon Pizza Ken asks. Is the inclusion of the X style moves and ultras a cynical way to bring in the the two D players, or is it a worthy addition? I think it's a worthy addition right now. From what I was seeing, it adds it adds uh, you know with some characters when you know what their their critical edges are at least it adds you know a bit of urgency like you know can I go in really unsafe if I'm going to get punished hard? But I suppose it does promote turtle one, but it promotes safe play. It promotes you know. More exciting moments as well when someone is unsafe and they bust out that critical edge. It's it's, it's a real good addition. EX moves as well. Uh, definitely, I think the the A the A the introduction of the EX moves seems to have toned down a lot of the more powerful characters because now you've got to spend meter to do some of the more outrageous stuff they could do, and it adds damage to the combos. And to be honest, man, some of the EX stuff, the brave edge stuff, just looks so swag, so swag. It's so good. Like I know Tier always with it with the hook up, just juggling away like that. Boom boom. I was getting mauled out there by some of those Brave Edge moves, but seriously, I think it's a really worthy addition and I think it's going to be one of those things that keeps Soul Calibur 5 around for a while longer, definitely around a lot longer than 4 was. Sorry 4. Um, but anyway, we've got, we've got uh, Sad Gav asking, we should take on the White Skullgirls trailer, are you excited for the game? And do you think it will hold its own in the Scottish tournament scene or do you think it will flop? Like Mortal Kombat 9. Ooh, shots fired, man. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, we're not seeing a lot of Mortal Kombat 9 up in the Scottish scene. Mm. Kind of sucks a bit for Skullgirls. Yeah, I'm pretty hype. It's a, 
you know. But the support it's getting from like actual players and the way it looks, the, the nice art style and stuff, it looks really, really fun. And the story mode trailer definitely, definitely kicks towards that whole fun element. Definitely something I want to see more of. I want to see more fun in fighting games as well. I mean, that's one thing Soul Carver's got, got a story mode. That's one thing Mortal Kombat had though. So you can't hinge the story mode on everything, but as you know, a technical fighter that Skullgirls is, is appearing, it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, more along the lines of Marvel 2. No, I, I, I didn't play that much, so I can't really see if that's a technical game or not, but it seems to be going for more, you know, older school sort of fighting game fundamentals and stuff, less comeback mechanics. Uh, Show us to the ratio thing that was in CVS as well, you know, so you can choose your team of three or you can maybe choose two and have them, you know, slightly more powerful, or maybe just one and have an all buffed character. So that'll definitely add a difference into seeing how people play, what sort of what character setups do they pick? Do they pick three, two or one? Do they want to go for assist? Do they just want an all powerful character? Uh, so that'll be definitely something else that'll be fun to see. Seeing how people actually play the game as well. It's definitely leaving it open ended and stuff. The art style is cool. I'm gonna like it's slick and it looks, you know different. It looks different. It's not like your usual art style that we seem to be getting the, the more tended towards anime anime looking characters and stuff. This is the more American style cartoons and that's that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool addition but I'm hyped for it. Uh hope you guys are definitely pick it up. Uh Jim Purvis, Saber Swag asks Will you be joining Team Queering Aids at Hype Spot in twenty twelve? You know what man? <laughs> if you want the janitor for Team Queering Aids, uh, whatever game, if you want me for Marvel, and you want to see Super Salty Janitor, or if you want to see uh you know me at Third Strike and watch Super Shit Janitor <laughs> So if you man, I'd, I'd be happy to take a team spot, you know, not not totally finalise the team, I don't know who's actually playing or when, so you know, still on the team spot? Yeah, why not? Also, uh, definitely, if you've not checked out, uh, check out the Queer Age channel on YouTube, uh, Jim himself has got um, a cinema sponsorship now, which is crazy when you consider him with his 20 second videos, and as you said earlier, adding the, the start and the finish things to the machinima thing triples the length of his videos, but... And he does put up some really funny fighting game related stuff and it's, it's good to see that, you know, the internet is recognising the genius that is Saber Swag. And man, if you can get some, you know, some Boss Logic style trailer and some Travel and Circus style t-shirts with me on it, man, I'll be in your team forever. That's all I'm saying, but man, seriously, if you want to get a team going on to Vibe Spot, man, sounds, sounds good to me. Uh, on another question, Infi and Saber Swag asking, Who's the best uh, Samurai Showdown 2 player? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't there to see people play it. Uh, I'm just going to say me. Because I'm the only person I've seen me play. So, you know what? We'll have some Samurai Showdown. You know, you know, fuck it. Three way Samurai Showdown round robin. The Janitor, Enfy, and Saber Swag. And we'll, we'll see who's the best. Throw in some other players if you want. Make it a four way, make it a five way, make it a six way, make it an exhibition tournament. We'll have some exhibition Samurai Showdown 2. You can buy an Xbox Live Arcade. Was in my janitor's cheap video fighting games video that was the shopping cart thing that was brilliant. You should definitely check that out. But anyway, what else we got? We've got uh, was it Breslin? Breslin asking, will you help Gav Stewart and himself on a secret project coming in May? Everybody wants the janitor, apparently. Of course, I'll help you guys out, man. Man, that that train ride. On the way down to uh, Super vs Battle last summer, and come on, we're BFFs now. It's gonna happen. Got your back, blood. Blood is thicker than blood, 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 blood. But anyway, man, definitely hope you all. Hopefully, I don't know, we're all gonna be excited to see what you two guys are cooking up for me, man. You're both creative, creative guys, and can't wait to see what you guys cook up. Uh, what else we got going on? Gonna check my tools. Oh, shit everywhere. There we go. There's vile styles that ask what the Scottish community needs to grow, and as I said, it's the whole coming together, putting on other events, you know, helping guys out, giving them strats, giving them tips and everything. That's, that's what we need to do. Uh, James Hay asked for a blend. Well, like everybody's, I know it's something that did blend. Everybody's copying Mortal Kombat 9 apparently, because nobody body poison anymore. Yeah, man, play Mortal Kombat sometime, see how it goes down. Uh, Infi now asking, who's the best player in Scotland? It's Infi Chan. It's Infi Chan, everybody knows that. Why are you even asking? You just want yourself shout out? Yeah, cool. There you go, there's your shout out. And the Flick asks, give us a top five people for each game in your opinion. Also, people who bring things to the community. 
and how you feel it is when everybody gets together and what you think we should do to make our events better. People should turn up, that's the one thing that makes our events better. Bigger numbers, better event. Uh, what's point one? Um, I feel I feel it's brilliant when we do all come together, man. I love it when they get an event where you know all the guys from Glasgow come in, all the guys from Edinburgh come in, usually they're in Glasgow, so it's not, but the guys from Edinburgh have done D in Glasgow, all you guys from all around everywhere come in, except Sterling, where he's at. Come in, we have a really great event. Uh, five people in each game. Uh, oof. That's, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't know how to actually say that without offending people. Uh, I guess any e it's Milligano, it's Milligano, Big Fool. There's there's no there's no order here. It's no preferred order. But Milligano, Big Fool, Suave Gav, uh, Vile Styles, and Elizaro right now. I'd say probably five of the best would go for that for Marvel. Uh, Breslin, Cryptic, Suave Gav, Big Fool, and well, this is Hamish. Hamish, throw Hamish in there. Hamish is really, really good. At, ooh, at third strike, Enfi, Enfi Chan, uh, Saber Swag, Rokankin, and, I don't know, myself when I play Alex. Nah, it's not me, but, uh, get third strike, uh, I don't know, but, guys that bring everything to the community, man, there's no top five that bring stuff to the community, man. You all come together and you all bring your stuff in, and it's brilliant to see, seriously. I mean, I've, I've gushed about this countless countless times but seriously you guys are brilliant you guys make what i do fun make me bring all my like there's a reason i bring you know two consoles and three screens and all that shit to an event because you guys make it fun you guys make it so fun and i noticed that i've not been given back to the community as i should so there we go there's my contribution anything else anything else i can think of mm, we'll go coming up anyway uh, I can't even bother with Street Fighter Cross Tekken News, Wah Wah, Ogre and Akuma, who cares? Uh, like, the game will be fun, hopefully, but who cares about the characters? Cody and Guy could, could be DLC, that sucks. They were uh, an LA on trailer, put them in the game. Uh, other stuff as well, I suppose. Things to check out uh, Zombie Brian's interview with Dog Tanyon, the community manager for Street Fighter Cross Tekken in Europe. Definitely check that out, that should be on the Vicious Call page, probably in Event Hubs as well. Uh, other things you should check out, of course, is the casual sessions that we've got going on. Of course, we've got Wednesday nights at Twitch and in the Count House in Dundee. Thursday nights now we've got a gamer base in Edinburgh and one level up in Glasgow. So, you know, those casual sessions midweek, get them checked out. Seriously. Uh, we'll take spot on. This weekend was the wonderful, wonderful Cryptic and his girlfriend hosting for Hamilton. Next weekend it is one level up and it will be run by Belvedere again. So, hopefully, you guys will uh, have fun there. I don't know if I'll be able to make that one personally, but you know, when you've got a long level up, man, you guys have fun. So, guys, for that, of course, we've got uh, coming up as well, we've got uh, Saber Dogs Soul Calibur 5 tournament going on at one level up as well. So, check them all out. And if they also got Shadow Ocean and Qualifier down in London, get that checked out. Check out the X Dragon project. Uh, Sodium Showdown results, uh, they've got Sodium Showdown going on at the end of February. But check out on Limit Break, uh, shouts to Daniel, Sh check out Limit Break for the top 8 and all the tournaments that they had going on. Uh, some sick, sick matches going on there, definitely check them out. Uh, anything else? Uh, I will try and get more content out, I've been really busy, I'm sorry, trying to get my PC fixed, but I want to get what I've done wrong on the go. I want to do some Soul Calibur stuff, I want to do some more videos, but you know what, again, I say every video, but guys, tell me what else you want to see from the janitor and I will try and deliver if there's more claps. There we go. If not, just tell me what you want. Uh, but thanks for watching. As always, I uh, hope this wasn't shit. Uh, not to my best standard, but eh, what are you going to do? Go for the teaser trailer made up for it. And uh, please, thanks very much. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I'm doing. And please, show up to the events. Keep playing. And of course, always, always stay clean.